fixing bands, fixing bands, let's go. So I go. Oh, hold on. Um, I, so the first ban is actually the shine ban right over here. And of course, this is one of Karu's uh, safe. Yes, sir! Because we see a Teemo ban actually a for Teemo. St. Hold Roberts. On. Interesting. Like, uh, now the uh, weapon size is now a ban. Yes. Good to know. Now, uh, okay. Yeah. Really enough, the uh, yeah. Saint Roberts uh, band. The Rise drops. and the Holly, and also we have the Eight Trumps band. These are all um, bigger band champions, and of course, uh, of course, these are. Uh, Mind you, this will be understood uh, eventually. Yeah. <laughs> of course, we see. It was, he was a. Uh, oh, but up here. Uh, uh, no, I mean, it was Misaya's. Uh, 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 um. So, hold on, we have a couple uh, technical difficulties. We can technically see the pixel mask right now. Um, it's being blocked. Okay, okay right. there we go. But, anyways, Silas actually first pick right over here by what was Misaya. This is a good um, steal for West Misaya. So, Silas is probably one of the best champions right now. Uh, yeah. And of course, it's a very good steal in this match. But now we're seeing a uh, pick from uh, St. Robert the Pills. But this is probably one of the elite specials, to be honest. But, uh, remember that time when uh, the Silas was up against the Pills? Oh, that was devastating. That was heartbreaking, actually. The, the that that little sticks is old. <laughs> yeah. That was actually uh, against. St. Robert, St. Robert was the silent then. Yeah, St. Robert was using the silence. That was when Kanji absolutely won. When he won. So, we'll see, we'll see if uh, St. Uh, I mean, West Messiah is going to do the same. Now we see. Uh, the park is fake. The park is fake. Yeah, like, uh, last game. Man, this is actually a lot of purpose, but it's not the most oppressive really game, but of course it does play deals on the I see, I agree, I agree. Now they have. Uh, oh, uh, Change it into a severe. Probably they want to counter that fear from the uh, pills. Exactly, and um, we see also the uh, server has good wave clear and gets to level 2 first, usually because of the uh, ricochets. So it's a good pick in general to match up against an ADC. And considering how good Rowan and Karu place the bottom side of the map, I think getting to level 2 first and being oppressive on the bottom side of the map is a very big factor in this question. Now, uh, on the west side, this side, we see Talia. I haven't seen Talia in a very long time, but now, uh, now they picked it. Uh, this could possibly go mid. And Talia is actually a really good pick. On mid, but, especially yeah, because of her. The wave clear, the uh, global ultimate with the. Uh, <laughs> they really. This, uh, the west Gucci Wap really likes their uh, global. But <laughs> we do see a high card over here. Interesting. Actually, if you look. If you, if you, Absolutely G2 kept pick it. This is one of G2's power picks, was the fight top. <coughs> Absolutely destroyed practically everybody. SK Telecom, TL in the finals. This is a very good top lane pick, but it could also be flexed. You never know. We could be But we do see the Morgana and the uh, Bronx. Bronx Thank you. Right. I could so that's a good ban because. Now there's nothing to negate the fiddlesticks here yep. because of the, the Morgana sticking off the table. But we do see um, Kashapir and um, Vladimir and getting banned. So you don't focusing, want. They're focusing on Kaji so much. He has four bans against Kaji right now. The Rise, the Kashapir, and then the Vladimir. Exactly. So much pressure on the middle. Now we're going to see uh, Kaiza versus a Severe on the bottom. Single single. Uh, so Kaiza is one of the most stable players in the world. I mean, it doesn't. I mean, it loses on the level one for sure damage on super, but my goodness. Oh, Ayumi! Ayumi, interesting. I've never seen Yumi being played in competitive play before, so the, I don't have much. But it's data still up. on Yumi. But I, as I recall, Yumi has the lowest win rate in history it for a first a for a first uh, new champion. Like she had a 32 win rate the first time she was released. 
So this is quite interesting, but I don't know if you radio me well enough. It's quite hard to understand how the dynamic of the champion works. So maybe they have so something that St. Roberts is some St. Roberts must be pretty new with this champion. I agree. They might not understand how to match up this. But with this server though, the thing about Yumi is there's so much of heal for for Yumi. So with a hyper carry such as Silver, whose crits just bounce off everybody, it's a very good thing to give a silver. Especially with uh, her ultimate. Oh my goodness, this is Kanji's Ooh. favorite. One of Kanji's signature picks as well, alongside Azir. the Rise, is the Azir. Before the biggest nerfs from Azir, when he was still relevant, Kanji just spammed this champion, and his mastery of this champion is absolutely amazing. So, this is quite scary to look at right now, as Visayas has really got to look after this mid laner. Either way, I'm, we could see Arisen. He's definitely gonna play the spike, so, so much mobility and aggression for the side of St. Robert Miracles. I really want to see how uh, Miracles will play out their champion. Exactly. And <clears throat> it's a bit of a, a, a very uncommon pick, if you ask yeah, me. Look at this. this is actually the first time I've seen a, a, a lineup like this. I mean, a Fiddlesticks, a Karthus, a Pike, a Kaiza, and a Nazir. Yeah, and they were so ballsy as to bend the team as well. That's just. <laughs> <Indeed. laughs> their, their muscles like, dude, we could do whatever we want right now. But the Yumi is quite interesting. There's not even a flash. They went with the Hegel Ignite because Yumi's one of the most mobile. I yes, I have seen her. Like yeah. I played the uh, last night, and uh, I was. She just dashes from champion. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, really interesting. And then plus, her ult is crazy. Very interesting because it it mobilizes a whole lane. Exactly, like it's the entire. It covers up an entire lane. Actually, it's like I, yeah. a crescendo. It's even larger, a lot larger than a crescendo. To mm -hmm. be honest. <clears throat> But it does need time to ramp up and lock people down. So, how you how Saint Robert's um maneuvers off away from Yumi some um, setups is gonna be key to how they play against this Yumi pick. Interesting picks right now for our second game of the day. We'll be I waiting, loading into it. the rift and first Yumi game. Catch it here live, guys. So we'll be right back after. I'm, I'm actually excited. <laughs>
So we're kind of a. Oh yeah, we're already two minutes into the game. But anyways, sorry for the uh, little technical difficulties. As both sides have already started with their jungle, jungle starts, and um, we can see the mobility of the Yumi right over here and the range advantage that she just provides. So technically, people are saying it's two v one in lane, but the amount of bulk that she has, it's pretty interesting as well. Um, the balance is out. Uh, a lot of things. Yeah, I was you <laughs> really <see that> good <laughs> tapping with that Q right over there. Nice block there from the silver. Such an annoying champion, actually. Very, very annoying. But this is quite interesting. The dynamic of the Yumi is really new to me, so bear with me, guys. I have been actually known what skill does the Yumi have. I mean, I've seen all her skills, but it's just really interesting to see her in pro play. This is the first time I'm seeing actual people who really knows like how to play the, the champion really well as we see a very good aggressive play here for the side of Les Messias forcing the heal from Roman right there and near kill but almost getting a kill wow this Yumi is really aggressive actually for a champion that sticks to another champion <laughs> the amount of bulk this champion has right now on Kaoru is just absolutely insane and forcing Kaoru to his last Hot right now. With uh, joined with the poke of the severe. <laughs> well, as we can see, a stun right over here connecting on both top laners. But look at the Jacks winning the trade thanks to the minions. Right over here. But Meng goes to the top side of the map, and the flashes are being expelled. But wow, Sober still holds on to his flash and still gets away with the leap strike. Impressive play. But here comes Joey going into the mid lane, trying to take down Kanji. The flashes have been expelled. And the Q this. secures the kill. Kanji actually gets first blooded this, by Raz. This is what we are uh, talking expecting. about. Yeah. yeah, this is their win condition. It's just try to slow down this superstar mid laner that St. Roberts has right now. That was a good start. But and they have to keep it up yeah, for, yeah. in order for uh, West Visayas to win. Just play good tempo, but at the same time, have a little bit of um, control on yourselves and don't panic because. I know how good it is to feel that you have the lead, but it once you panic, but once you start panicking, it crumbles gets really, down. Yeah, so just stay a little better. You see this big circle That's, of the Yumi? <laughs> that was insane. It covers an entire, <laughs> the entire was, lane. It was, the Yumi was uh, like almost in the river. And like, look at the big circle that she. Yeah, just such <laughs> length with the poke. But the first blood going to Joey right there with the Talia, a very oppressive jungler. So that's really good pathing. For the side of uh, West Messiahs, and we're looking for more as aggressive plays like that towards the mid lane to try and slow down Kanji from getting to his power spikes. But right now, this Yumi pick is working wondrous on the bottom side of the map. It's just so much aggression, and it's so causing much so much um, pressure mm -hmm. on the bottom side of the map, which we don't usually see on a 2v1 <laughs> since most of the damage will be going onto the server and not the Yumi. Right? But Kanji gets dove in yet again. Another Why? kill. Another kill has been given to Joey, and that's the second kill of the game. They're really they're forcing really, this as yeah. They're really trying to uh, stop this mid laner. Yeah. They've, se they've seen his power last game, and How they're trying to do them. something about it right now. Yeah, and Man right now is running out of resources to because of his mana, so he's gonna recall. But what he should be doing is looking for this jungler right now and shadowing his movements to protect Kanji because their their win conditions has always been getting leads on the middle lane. So if they can't do that, they're practically gonna have a really hard time to end this matchup. And I think they will, it's because also because of the Karthus stick. Because Kartus, was... Kartus can't do anything early game. Yeah, I mean there's the slows, but mm, it's not as effective as like a seismic shot from Talia. But right now look at Yumi, he's not even connecting to Sivir, he's just walking up and using his passive to win these trades with the Q as well. <laughs> look at these trades, dude. <laughs> it's crazy, this, this Yumi is really annoying. You it's see so that? Annoying. It, it just travels to the nearest hero. It's so what annoying. What the hell? What the hell, Rito? It's just so <laughs> annoying. But here comes Talia on the top side of the map. She's gonna try to make the play. The flash actually connects onto Arisen right over here. Arisen tries to get a comeback kill, but there's just not enough damage, and that's the third kill. This Talia right now is just outpacing Mang in the game. Yet again, as we were talking about this, uh, St. Roberts is so dependent on the early game power of Mang and how he creates leads. 
for West or St. Roberts. But right now he's being outpaced by Joey with the Celia, and it's really showing that St. Roberts needs this guy to get the lead. A uh, bit of a skirmish there at uh, the bottom lane. Especially. Yeah. It's just so good. Like, Talia's a 100% kill participation right now and giving assists to all lanes. Mm -hmm. These small things creates the biggest advantages, like CS advantages, even even Zoner spells. And they're just leaving the spot because they know all the beat that actually comes out. But here comes the ultimate from the Karthus. It actually gets negated. <laughs> you need ghosts <laughs> inside. You just went inside. A... Crazy. That was crazy. That's. That's a cheat! <laughs> he went inside the server to negate the card to this ultimate. I did not know that interaction actually works. And that was so crazy! She was he guaranteed to that, die there. That card was fault. Says, nope! Not today, Saint. That was so <laughs> unfair, man! That was... <laughs> you think free... about it. If this Yumi just jumps on the Severe and the Severe uses the third skill... No? No ult... No stun, nothing. Yeah, not yeah, there's just no effect on the bottom <laughs> side, and that's- Oh, Karthus actually flashes through the wall! That was actually being pinged because there was a ward there, and now he's gonna try to get this kill. Um, oh. here comes the wall of Bane, but they're not gonna get any kills. What was that? He didn't get any kills! But oh, wasted. Oh, 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 double Shurima <laughs> Double Shurima Shuffle, Shuffle, Shuffle right now! <laughs> but exchanging apparently... ultimates, but right now Kanji's getting the better of this trade. Because he went towards the tower. Uh, but that was so cool! Double Sharina Shell. Oh, what was that? But you see oh, right here comes oh, Risen. He actually gets the kill onto Raz. <laughs> what a good play by Risen. Good job roaming into the mid lane. Silas thought that uh, nothing uh, it was going to just go back off, but apparently he did not see that fight coming in. Exactly. He just shuts him down as well. That was Saint Roberts needed that. Like they were slowly bleeding, and they needed to shut down some at some point in the map. But still, this Talia is still really strong right now. He's all just annoying you. This crazy. Absolutely crazy. But still, we have to look, point out the fact that Saint. I mean, best besides right now, their Talia is just absolutely insanely scary right now. Finishing her en her enchantment. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be so much damage, just tons of damage right now. And always see Kaiza going for the hand. And because of the amount of poke that Yumi has, look at the CS advantage that this server has. It's 86 to 63. He's just such, she's just such a, a me, uh, an annoying pest right now. And they're gonna get their first record over here, which is an absolute necessity as we see a trade on the top side of the map. I think this is quite indispensable for the side of Vespasius. They really need this Ocean Drake so that Yumi can keep up the sustain for the bottom side of the map and also just spam these Qs, man. Just spam these Qs as much as possible. Oh, Kanji gets caught by the Seismic Shot yeah, right over that, there. So much damage coming from the Talia. It's crazy. It's actually snowballing the game right, the game now. right now. With the amount of mobility that Talia has right now, it's just absolutely insane how she's winning this game for her team. There's actually a reverse wall right over there too. They tried to take a pick on the bottom side of the map, but West Besides is really doing a good job right now. Right now with the pacing, like they're not forcing things, but they are making plays, and this is what I want to see from them. They're really assessing. Yeah, they're about to just. But here comes the flash from Talia. She tries to use the sex machine, but Ooh, another nobody. shot. Down. Yeah, that's 0 and 3 from Kanji right now, and here comes Arisen trying to get a reply kill for his mid laner. There goes the ultimate from the Karthus, and it gets executed by the x mark mm -hmm. So Kanji 0 3 right now. It's, it's, just... it's time to see um, St. Robert's resolve if their mid laner is on the back foot because they've been depending on him so much. Mm -hmm. And oh, the soul no, actually connects. Karu's at a very bad position right now, and here comes the ultimate from Lui from Yumi, and that he just pins down that. <laughs> bye bye, dude. Like here comes the ultimate from Rowan though, trying to get a reply kill onto Taiga, but Taiga's just running for the hills. He gets killed by Arisen. Three one right now, killing spree, and Yumi so so squishy actually gets taken out by Rowan. A triple? Uh, is it a triple? Uh, uh, or a double kill? I think. From, not, uh, I wasn't keeping I, I track, know, dude. I know, I know, but crazy. I do know that um. Arisen right now is on a killing spree, so the top laner is really stepping up for the side of St. Roberts. Whereas for the side of Les Messias, this Talia is just 
absolutely destroying the map right now. She's finished the power spike of the sword boots, which just clears the clears these camps really fast as that. As you see, Karu trying to save as much of these um but apparently that Jack as much as he can on the bottom side. But here comes the very fast Arisen trying to catch on to this skill. He doesn't have his ultimate up, but the E is still up and he uses his skill to cl claim the kill. Well played, Karu. But that Jax, Jax was in a very bad spot, spot and he didn't notice that the, the Pillow Six was already there exactly. until it was too late. Mm -hmm. And now, you really need to see how well this um, gold lead that, uh, what do you call this, the, the Pike is having right now. Because he's he's technically like the jungler right now, like he's everywhere around the map. He's going bot, he's going mid as well. Just plays across the board. and. There's not much action on the bottom side of the map, but the amount of pressure that Yumi has with the range is just absolutely indispensable Jeez. right now. Oh, Man, her own is <laughs> chunked down so much, dude. <laughs> you can see right now, it's just slow play after slow play. Kanji trying to get back into this game, getting the blue buff, but he doesn't need to extend as much. Um, there's an actually an exchange here on the bottom side of the map, top side of the map. Anyways, low plays from across the board. So there's not much action actually coming from both these teams right now. But Mas Visayas just slowly but surely losing the gold lead. Actually, if you look at the gold lead right now, it's actually Saint Roberts who has. 100 gold lead, so not But anyways, here comes the Weaver's Wall right now. It forces the flash on the uh, Fiddlesticks right there. Almost a close call for uh, the Fiddlesticks. Yeah, that's a good Weaver's Wall actually. It forced uh, some her spell and now this bottom lane is gankable once again. Talia's just Cosmic Shoves have been very accurate right now. With Silas taking, oh wait, there's an ultimate on the bottom side of the map. There's probably action right over there on the bottom side of the map. And every, both the teams are pinging on the bot side as we see Rowan gets a kill onto Taiga. And now Yumi, without the Bye -bye. mobility, without the boots actually, gets killed. Double kill for Rowan. And now it's... Slowly we're seeing St. Roberts getting back up their feet. Yeah, so it's not technically just the Kanji show because right now St. Roberts is definitely trying to help their mid laner. As relieving... Some of the pressure actually from him. It was a good idea that they gave almost all the kills to this Kaiza. And now Kaiza is uh, poised mm -hmm. to get a little bit of a lead. But we see a small short pause right now. But anyways, let's talk about this. Um, I think Talia needs to be more proactive right mm -hmm. now. Not just point. on the mid lane. I mean, they're, he, she's playing it wisely by not forcing it so much as to give the lead. Mm -hmm back to St. Roberts, but right now St. Roberts is winning across the map because of the side lanes. Mm -hmm. I think they overemphasized the lead they were giving onto the mid lane because of the fear of Kanji getting too mm -hmm. far ahead during the 1v1 matchup, that is. But now that he's not giving as much attention on the side lanes, that's where the leads are coming now for St. Roberts. I agree. Especially on the, <clears throat> sorry, on the Kaiza. It's just that the SN, the Pike, the Pike is just roaming around. Yeah, the amount of movement speed as we see there is... The amount of movement speed that Pike has is just absolutely insane that it affects every single lane. Oh, that's actually a good interaction! Yumi has a free TP! <laughs> he just connect on a champion and TP with that champion. That's so fun, dude! That's a good interaction as well. Now we're seeing uh, a bit of a contest on the dragon right now. Motion break right now. It. It the oh, here comes the flash actually and the... Yeah, Manx is probably gonna go down here. And that's a shutdown onto the Arthas, but the ultimate doesn't, connect, doesn't yeah. get a kill, a kill actually, but it was a last resort. I think it was a, a, because of the, a heal. Oh, here comes the pike, the pike actually! Ooh, <laughs> he loses. instantly the, annihilates the Silas! He misses his stun though with that but, flash, but he gets amazing. killed by this Sil by this Talia. Talia. Just so much damage right now! 5 and 0, 500 gold bounty, just absolutely solo carrying us Visayas back into this series. 
and the first turn of the game actually goes to us besides on the top side. This is game crazy. Man. No, it's crazy. A very tight match from both teams right now. <laughs> now it's just, the gold lead slow. is actually really, really close to be honest. Like if you look at it, it's just a 300 gold lead. But West Visayas looks like they're poised to get most of the, adva the advantages right now. Every objective is going their way. Indeed. And the map pressure is going their way as well. But, oh, but actually, the Fiddlesticks oh. misses his ultimate. And the stud crash from the Yumi. This is so good for the side of West Visayas. They also get the Rift Herald while all that was happening. And now they are they have a very good tempo advantage. Like, they could use that Rift Herald to make pressure on the bottom side or the mid side and just force this game faster because now that you have the lead you have to force uh saint roberts to react to you right i agree i agree so now that they have the referral and they break both turrets Correct. top and bot mid lane's the only thing that they should be pushing right now if they could use the referral and get gain a lead even there with the amount of map exposure that they're going to have against um, have saint roberts they will have just absolutely control the vision and Especially but, because of the uh, the way they uh, this Talia played their mid. Mm -hmm. That's also a good they, point. They they really gained the upper hand. Right? And then we're seeing another. I love the adjustments actually. But here comes Arisen actually on the bottom side of the map. The Weaver's Wall gets casted onto the mid lane. So as the TP from the Jacks, but no kills are to be had. The Seismic Shove connects onto Arisen, but, but no kills oh. are to be had. Man, this is gonna follow up, uh, the, the silence gonna follow up, but apparently it was a bit distracted by the uh, the Azir. So, true, true. No kills, no kills on that. Uh, but uh, you see here, everyone uh, yeah, they're denying. It's such a back and forth um, game for both these teams. Like they're just throwing jabs and haymakers on each other, not backing down because you know that if you back down, you start losing um, control of the map. It's just catching one after the other there's just so much cc as a 1v1 actually goes here for both supports the requiem actually gets used for some reason but which area was that used interesting but anyways um all swell and swell no blood to be taken right now but here comes saint roberts trying to make a play onto the bottom side of the map the flash from the oh, silas oh, 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 he gets feared and he cancels his ultimate and he gets taken down by Kaji right over there. And so 1v1 oh. between the top laners right now. But there is support for so against Sober. And now they try to get Sober right over Almost here. Almost a away. good play, but apparently there was a ward there that he didn't saw and he got fear. Yeah, that was good on paper, but the fear just absolutely yeah. negated any damage that he could have done there. Well played there by Kaji. Well played, well played. Kaji's playing really well actually he did? I, I, this series, I right? Like he's really... Um, coming back from a very bad series, bad game last time. Last, last time, time, the last time we played. So, yeah, this is Saint Robert saying that it's not just the the Kanji show. Mm -hmm. He can step up if need be when our when our mid laner is being forced on the back foot. So, this is what a good team is like. We have we know our win conditions, and it's always our mid laner. He's our star player. But, but when if... the going gets tough for him, we will back him up and we will carry for him if yep. need be. I agree. So Saint Robert. It's not just their mid laner; it's their whole team. Yeah, it's their whole team as well. That's a good point there, as we could see. Roman is actually look at this: three zero and one on this Kaisa, three hundred fifty gold bounty right now. He could really do some serious damage at this point in the game. He's as... two items up. Yep, and also as well as the uh, the Pike mm -hmm. was doing really good. And like Roman even though stuff. even though. Azir gets getting is getting shot down in the mid. He follows up and kills the Silas as well, so yeah, that he, he won't farm that much. He knows that Kaji is being like super camped by the enemy team, as we see the referral being spawned here on the mid lane. So this could possibly be an exchange here for both sides. It's probably both teams are gonna go to the mid, and I'm expecting oh, a fight a right now. A team fight, a big team fight coming here. Sesame Shove misses there for the Talia, but it's Saint Roberts in a very good position right now to get this Infernal Drake. Which is better than an ocean drift. And now yes. everyone, everyone is moving on the mid. So this is an exchange for both sides. The yeah, I think the the tilde wall was actually used on the bottom side to slow it down. And try. Oh, actually, oh, oh. Taro's using his ultimate, and he gets the fear onto this Talia. There goes the shutdown kill, and that was a very well played 
game by Karu. He actually used the stopwatch to mm -hmm. negate the kill. I agree, I agree. <clears throat> right here they would have cancelled that ult with a Yumi, but apparently the stopwatch. Was the key factor right over there, and now it's actually a defense for the side of St. Roberts right now. Uh, four of us besides on the bottom side right now. It's a good fight here on the top side, but wow! That the, the regeneration! The <laughs> passive is just absolutely changing! That was crazy! That fight destroying the jack. That was crazy! I mean, did you saw that the... The, pike, the life of the pike is already on one uh, uh, Yeah, one he fourth. was like one fourth, but he uses his, his W. Yeah, and the passive, passive just w. regenerates the gray health <laughs> and absolutely destroys Brings him. Brings him back to the fight, and then apparently the... It's like second win, right? I love it. That was crazy. And now it's St. Roberts with the lead. So this is looking really <laughs> scary right now. Once these guys get a lead, and once they know that they're on the front, mm -hmm. on the front foot, Watch out because they know how to play their leads. Really well. really oh, there goes the Shurima Shuffle actually from this Silas and now the flash out by Pike. But this is on the wrong side of the map. Where is he going? He gets killed by the server. That's a shutdown gold 450 on and Silas. And a burn flash as well. <clears throat> so it's a just take whatever you can for now for Rescue Silas, but they need to. They're bleeding out slowly. I mean, they had a good lead on the start of the game, but they don't. We really know when to push forward or backwards. As Kauru gets forced to flash out of there. He was actually pincered. And you see this? You oh, someone got caught by the Talia Seismic Shove and the flash by Man directly. It was a close call. They, go, they almost. I mean, apparently, the Severe is getting poked by this Azir. Exactly, yeah. Right now, Kaji is actually back in this game now that he's finished the Morawa Nomicon. He's probably gonna get enough damage, but here comes Karu going back in, trying to get the Yumi. The fear was connecting, but he was able to connect onto this uh, Taiga. But Taiga goes down right now. It's fight on multiple fronts uh, of the map. This is going to be a very close matchup, but Rowan right now is just going out of his mind, getting most of these kills. But the Talia wall actually blocks off his escape, and he gets killed right over here. It's three for two. And the ultimate from the Tigers. That was so close! <laughs> My goodness. It was a good thing that the, the, the Yumi is still there to be uh, Yeah, the Yumi was there. But that was crazy. You see that Talia, how powerful she is right now. I mean, she almost wrecked the whole team. It's difficult to go up against a Talia with multiple dashes on your team. If Kanji and um, Arisen mm -hmm. uses their dashes on the, on the pebble field of Talia, it's just so, so much, much damage, damage right? dude. I know. Like, That's what, I, what we saw earlier. Like, crazy. I, I thought that we thought that uh, on that team fight, uh, St. Roberts was winning. Yeah, and actually, that was a very good position for uh, Rowan, but he got blocked off with the Talia wall. Just beautifully placed there. He couldn't get out there, which caused the shutdown gold to go to the side of Lesbos Eyes. So. Really back and forth game right now from both these teams. I love it. This is what I want. Jam pack action from both sides. But the Yumi is working wondrous actually. We could be I looking agree. at I more agree. Yumi games in in the EAA. As actually Talia is actually caught in a very tough position right now. He gets killed by Mang right over there. A, a bit of a late pulled by uh, Yumi. Yeah, bad positioning there for the Talia. But Mang uses his. No, that was actually the ultimate from the uh, Silas. Silas, yeah, he stole the ultimate from the Requiem. Another tower goes down. Another tower goes down, and a 3,000 gold lead for St. Roberts. This is not looking good for Let's Be Silas. They're being pressured off their own turrets, and now it's actually St. Roberts with the tower lead. Their mid lane is still up. Zach's trying to make a play right over there as the uh, slow actually saw. connects onto Arisen right over here, but Kaji just. Annoying everybody right now. The ultimate from Karu not going to catch anybody off guard. There was a vision there, a war there. So they saw that the, the, the fiddle six was coming. But yeah. apparently now it probably is the right time for them to uh, force a team fight because apparently the fiddle six doesn't have any work right now. Exactly. And now looking at this, Wes, uh, Saint Roberts is about in position right now. They're at a very good position to take this second infernal Drake, but. Rowan is on a very so bad position right now. So much damage from that uh, Talia. Crazy. And now that the Infernal Drake is about to be started, I don't think this is a good idea to start the Baron here. I, I agree, I agree as well. Indeed, they don't have their AD carry, but 
two infernal drakes is absolutely scary, especially since you're going up against a Karthus. A Karthus? <laughs> the Requiem is just gonna absolutely blow your team up if you give this many infernal drakes to the side of St. Roberts. Meng is getting to his item power spikes right now. He's already finished his Morellonomicon, and look at this, he's got another Blasting Wand. This is probably gonna be a Void Staff. He's just gonna blow your team up single-handedly. He's just farming right now with the... I mean, look at this dude. Who has the most farm right now in the map? It's actually Mang. He has 231 <laughs> CS in this game. And this points to being the most fed player probably right now. Well, he's nice. just probably waiting for his turn. I I, I bet. No, no, no. He didn't go for the white statue. He went for the uh, yeah, Leandrinus. Hope potentially. Exactly. And more damage, actually. Oh, that would hurt. This Those is gonna hurt, dude. This is definitely gonna hurt. And Yumi's actually quite viable right now. Like he had finally she has finally finished the Athene's Holy Grail. The amount of damage that she could stack up with the Athene's using her Qs it's actually plays well with her. I agree. And uh, plus that mana regeneration, that means that she has unlimited skills to use. But Talia's Ooh, also that, look at the Talia damage. Yeah, she's finished her void stab first because she does notice that there is a bit of um Magic Resist coming from the side of St. Robert, so you see Hex Drinker, uh, Hex Drinker from the uh, bike. But anyways, it's a battle of attrition at this point in the game. It's just clearing that. vision and trying to get this Baron. Whoever gets this Baron who gets... Who pots who first? It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's that kind of game right now. Who catches who first? Because if whoever gets this Baron over here... That's actually... Uh, apparently now we're talking about the who. Kara's in a very bad position. He flashes away from that Seismic Shaw. Very well played. <sighs> I thought that would be the the one we're talking about. Yeah, right that was now. we were <laughs> talking about. I thought it was gonna be a caster curse? curse or something. What the heck? <laughs> Anyways, um, this is a good uh, position right now for us. Besides, they could start placing vision on the top side of the map since Karu's gonna recall and try to get a pick off from this. There's just so much to stay with the union right now. Let's oh, double. Okay. Beaver's ball is actually being casted. Um, Pike is on the wrong side of the map, but they don't know this, and the movement speed gets him away. Two ultimates expended almost, for West besides there. Almost, almost getting caught. Uh, Azir getting caught, but the uh, good thing he has that dash. And now uh, we see the fight denying the vision on the uh, yeah, right side. And look at this uh, wave control wave. But, but actually, Kauru actually goes in on this. And the ultimate from the. Oh, is just absolutely ultimate. blowing everybody up! Taiga is out of HP, and here comes the. Arisen is just destroying everybody at this point, following Ooh, it up. The that can hurt this damage is so much, and Taiga goes down. The ultimate from the Azir is now going to take everybody off the map, and that Did is an ace for St. Roberts. That was crazy. He just pressed R and everyone died. I was not <laughs> expecting that damage from the Karthus. He didn't secure a kill, but it did open up the kills for his team. He got he, Everyone got ripped apart once the Requiem started. Seriously. That was a hell of a damage. I did not expect that one. I, that actually caught me off guard, <laughs> dude. Like, the damage was the reason they exploded off the map. And... That was crazy. My goodness. They need that to build that more that ASAP, dude. That dude indeed did something for them. And now look at... Look at Matt right now. He's building... A Rab He's on his way for a Ramadan's <laughs> death cap. <laughs> My goodness. I swear, I, I seriously, I thought there was just gonna be a, a heap of damage, but I did not expect that. It was that so much. Yeah, it wasn't it was crazy. He didn't get the, any of the kills, but, but it, it opened up for his team to finish off the kills. I agree, I agree. That was crazy. Server was actually full HP. It, I, I really think that even West Messiah did not expect that much, that much damage that, from the Cartes. Exactly. This must have been what Leo Sayo was trying to do back in his, during his game, but he was too behind. But right now, Mang is showing why he's one of the best here at Elo Elo right now. With the plays like with the plays like these, man, he's just so scary right now. You just can't do that anywhere in the map. You can't do anything about it. Yeah, his presence is being felt no matter where he is on the map right now, and they're poised to get another drape right over here as we see the weaver's wall trying to catch kanji but he dashes out of that Ooh. yet again as you see the requiem yet what yet again you saw that damage oh joey my goodness this is looking really scary and this is the third infernal drake this is what i've been talking about if you give three 
Infernal Drinks to this Karthus. He's just gonna blow you off the map every time that ultimate's up. And Karu goes in. He uses the Zhonyas to make as much havoc as he possibly can. And now all hell is breaking loose. The kills are coming off the board, but it's one for two right now. But still though, that was so much damage. Indeed, I agree. That Karthus is doing so much damage to everyone. And now the Karthus is here. And the <laughs> he is just over. arrived. But still, he wrecked Havoc. Just using his ultimate. Exactly, man. And now look at this. He's just... Sam Roberts is poised to win this uh, series right now. And with three Infernal Drakes, all you have to do is press Karthus R and just follow up that damage. And, and it's uh, apparently we're having all technical over. difficulties. Yeah, we're now. having a... Uh, yeah, we're having a bit of FPS drops, but right now it's just it's just crazy. Crazy right now. Everything is happening. They they did indeed stop this Kanji from uh, getting overpowered, but, but right they did not saw the Kartas coming. Yeah, neither did they see this uh, this Kaisa, Kaisa mm -hmm. coming as well. I mean, they that's so much in the mid lane. Yeah, we were talking about trying to slow down Kanji as well, but that apparently what we talked about. Um, before this game was also kind of wrong because yes, they did lock down Kanji, but now we see that what's beside it, I mean Saint Roberts, it's not just the Kanji show. It's indeed they it, carry that's themselves. what makes Them Saint so Robert hard. Yeah, to beat. good because they're playing as a team. Even though their mid got shut down early on and got stopped from being overpowered, they had their pike on the top lane, the Kaiza, and especially giving time. For Karthus to get powered up as well. Exactly, and the power of men right now is just absolutely crazy. crazy. He starts off these fights with the Requiem, and then his team just finishes it off. Uh, usually the Requiem is used as like as a, the finisher, last, right? Yeah. But right now it's the just, opener. But here comes Karu trying to catch somebody off guard. But the Yumi is just jumping into this Talia right over Oh, he actually oh! gets caught by the what? seismic shove right over there, and goodbye, Karu, I think. No, he oh, actually flashes out of that. Up. But here comes the Jax, one, here, three right now, but down. the ultimate takes down the silence. Uh, excuse me, that was the silence, that wasn't the Jax, but... Wow. Crazy, right? One by one, West besides dropping down, it's because of, especially because of this Pike and this Karthus. And Karu as well, let's not... Take anything away from him. This guy has been performing really well, just creating havoc with his ultimates, jumping I in agree, there. I agree. I agree. Just jumps in and then just zonyas and then he's done. He's good. Yeah, he's just zoning everybody off of that and creating <laughs> panic and chaos across the board. The reverse wall is being used defensively right over here to stop Saint Roberts's advance. But for how long though? Because right now they're just looking so scary. Slowly, slowly bleeding out. They're Taking just... out the inhibitor in the middle lane and on the bottom lane. And now you're just destroying the top lane. Yeah, this turret is gonna go down with three Infernal Drakes. I'm just waiting for the last one fight. Oh, oh here this, is oh, actually, this is actually a Requiem <laughs> from the Silas. He stole the Requiem. I got confused there for a second. I was kind of like, wait, what? This is going to say, Rory. But it did not do any, like, not so and... much damage as the Requiem. Oh, here comes the ultimate from the server, but no, they're not going to pull the trigger right over there. It's, it's really difficult to go in. I think St. Roberts could just back off right now. They have three... Super minions coming from all angles. Oh, the slow actually connects right over there, but no continuation of kills. Karu actually goes in, but gets goes destroyed. He wasn't able to use his Zonyas there, and Roman gets pushed out. This is quite interesting. You actually. see the uh, Kanji just dies a pike hold. I mean, that was absolutely unnecessary. You have super minions going from all. Parts of the map and Baron's actually about to spawn. They're, they should just go for the Baron. Oh no! Probably, <laughs> we see that uh, actually goes down. Saint Robert is playing Toying. with yeah. their food right now. They're playing with their food right now. Crazy comeback coming from uh, Saint Robert. Uh, West besides had the upper hand, but apparently they stalled so uh, so long that apparently the pipe. Yeah, because St. Roberts was actually the uh, ticking time bomb. Mm -hmm. Like, they were the scaling uh, team. And 
There's no difference with this Scarfus who's just absolutely Crazy scary right now because uh -huh. he has finally he just... finished his death cap and he's probably gonna get a void staff to top it all off and just swap off any magic resist for building right I, I now. I just want to see how much damage he will deal with this three infernal drakes and that death cap and the void staff. Oh. I meant he will rip the whole team apart. <laughs> And West Besides can even get out of their own base right now with two super minions going from every single lane. Mean, that would mean a free Baron, of course, in Roberts. As actually, Yumi's right over here. He For gets vision, but there goes the Beaver's wall, and it's a bit too late. Too late. Oh my goodness. Three this... Infernal Drakes with an Elder Drake as well. This is absolutely scary. The Karthus could practically just absolutely destroy anybody with one just Requiem. One at this point. Press R for Requiem. Press R to win. <laughs> Press R to win. My goodness, Kanji as well. Here he goes. So much damage. Here comes the ultimate. Oh, oh my goodness. But look at the HP from the Jax. The Jax is gonna rip apart us also, Natalia. Forcing everybody to go back into the fountain, which gives space for these inhibitors to go down. I think this will be the last team fight. As we see, yeah, they're gonna try their last stand right over here. Oh, it's hoping for a Hail Mary miracle, but it seems pretty unlikely as the game. Because is... of the Karthus, the Pike, and the Kaiza as well. And Looking. also the Zoni Here comes the ultimate oh, from Taru, him. but he tries to. Finish this game off by initiating it, and everybody from West Visayas is trying to crawl back into this fountain. There's just no safe haven for you guys. It's absolutely GG for this game. Everybody just dropping off life wise. And this is game 2 0 for St. Robert. Another 2 0 from uh, uh, this game. And this was closer compared to the last Indeed, series, though, 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 but... it's a bit closer. Still, though. To be expected from our St. Robert still reigns supreme on this match. Apparently, th those were really good plays. Yeah, it's. They got uh, snowballed in the first game, but apparently, it's just that that's what makes them a team. Exactly. Even though their mid laner got shut down early on, they got their top lane and their bottom lane. And it's Plus just. Plus the Cartus. It was just. When he got out, he just pressed R and then. It's just. I'm really impressed with the performance Vespasius has had because Indeed. for the longest time they've been on the bottom tier of mm -hmm. Vespasius, but they really showed heart and grit right now. I'm quite proud of these guys. It was close. It was a very close match. Yeah, in both games to mm -hmm. be honest. But at the end of the day, Saint Roberts is just so overpowering. So we're gonna look at um, the whole thing was mm -hmm. absolutely to be expected, I guess. Just Kaji I mean, is just really too good, and when he was focused, his team just stepped up. So uh, how do you stop the defending champions right now? Because they're just firing on all cylinders, just winning every game so far. How to stop St. Roberts? It's going to be up to Anti-Pro. And this is probably what I want to see. Exactly. This is going to be a very good matchup between these two because St. Roberts and Anti-Pro has the same strengths. They have mm -hmm. good junglers and good, good mid laners. And if push, push comes to shove, Anti Pro has uh, their bottom lane, their um, their AD carry to vouch for them, just in case that their mid lane or their top lane or their jungle did not. Anyways, we're up. also gonna point out that tomorrow there's still a game tomorrow. Uh, we have Sylva UI Sylvaxinari versus University of San Carlos Warriors. This is actually quite a very good match mm -hmm. because San Carlos. It's a very good team, but Salvaxinari has three pro players with them, three AEX members. So this is going to be one of our high, most anticipated players for this matchup. That's going to be a very good matchup, actually. And we also have a very an Elo Elo classic, a Visayas classic, which is Janbilak Son University versus CPU, CPU Golden, Golden Lions. Lions. This is one of the biggest rivalries mm -hmm. in agree, Visayas history, and they're going to meet up tomorrow. So you do not want to miss this miss tomorrow. this one. It's going to be an explosive matchup. Uh, bad Bloods. Yeah, right Bad here. Bloods rivalries. rivalries. This is where legends are made of, my dude. <laughs> League of <laughs> Legends for sure. But anyways, this rounds up our games for today. And of course, we'll be seeing you tomorrow with... Two more best of threes as 
we are your casters. I am Lunik, and this I'm is Star Conqueror. And, and uh, this is EAA. See you tomorrow. <laughs>